Welcome back to Show and Tell. Hello. God, I can't believe it. It's been a bit. It's been a minute. But <laughs> low key, like, yeah, this is the Halloween have episode. you ever thought, like, <laughs> nah, I don't remember, like, y'all just know. It's the Halloween episode, and we're here with, <laughs> with, um, it's the Mask Singer episode. Oh, it's <laughs> the Mask Singer episode. Sing for us, Fiona Apple. Why are you fucking giving away? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I got I got the owner Apple in my fucking house, and you are going to immediately ruin the surprise. Okay, go ahead, Fiona Apple. Thank it's you. just like now I don't really want to be here anymore. It's just like yeah, Yay. I don't. Yeah. Wait, you you don't sound like Fiona Apple. Oh, who are you to fucking tell me? Like you don't even listen to Fiona Apple. But she sounds like a twink. <laughs> Wait, because why are you giving twink? Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I vote no. So wait, who are you, costume wise? <laughs> wait, who is she? Who is she? <laughs> I don't know. I can't make up a joke right um, now. Um, wake me out the plastic. I'll be acting brand new. Hey, oh. that's who you are. No, motherfucker. Oh. Let me give it. I can't even come up with a joke because your character is it's so, so like slick. in my core of like my brain that I can't even like think who else it could be. Spider-Man! Motherfucker, fuck you. That's a weird I'm, one. Like, for Spider-Man, to be honest. I am Shell. From the sea? No, these bitches don't know who... She Shell, she Shell, by the seashore? <laughs> this is gonna be our most, like, chaotic episode today. <laughs> no, I don't play around. Um, no, play with me. play with <laughs> Anyways. Um... They don't even know who Portal is. Like, honestly, nobody gets who Portal is. No, because I'm. You're so lucky. I put you onto the underground game. Like, I will fucking kill you and shoot you. Like, a, like, like you're I found out about Portal Two, and nobody knows about it. And I just like, you're so lucky. I gave you the knowledge of Portal Two because like nobody knows about it ever. Like, what is Half Life? I. Sorry. Yeah, you should suffer. I've been. I live. I live already suffering. Every day is suffering. Do you to believe? Live is to suffer. Do you believe that Halloween's actually the time of the ghosts and the ghouls and the killer will come out? Yeah, did you know that it's called the Devil's Night and low-key, like, when Halloween's happening, like, that's when the spirits have one day to roam free. But low-key, we've moved past our mass singer, so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so. No, I'm just, like, I'm trying to figure out whether I want my, to, like, just be able to talk but not look at you guys, or to... Because we're ugly? Damn, <laughs> uh, damn, like, okay. I, when you asked me to sing something, I was trying to think of like, oh, what's like, what does the little big planet sing? But I couldn't think. Yeah, there's no like words. He doesn't know words. He's so like, he says like so many things, but with not a single <laughs> word, you know? He makes like stupid <laughs> impressions. That... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You know when you like click like the top buttons and he like makes different faces? Yeah, he's like, ah. <laughs> and, and then the more you press, the worse it gets. Yes. <laughs> I can't do that though. I'm I'm kind of st- I'm this is like uh, I'm gonna get spring trapped. So we had sack boy <laughs> like we literally brought we like literally I had to go into my computer like the ring bitch and go and pick up sack boy and bring him here for you. So hey. let's like start becoming grateful. Take for it us. off. Right. Take it off. Take. I don't. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. You're mad. You can't so say like, that. That's sexual. Assault. You guys are just like begging me to take to... it off. Oh my goodness. Begging you to strip ASL. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Who are you? I don't even know Haley. anymore. Haley, <laughs> whole full name. I always, on the show, I always have the full urge to start, like, to Singer. say someone's entire full name. <laughs> like, <laughs> my sister always sings a Drake song when I talk about you. She said, do you love me? Oh, the new one? <laughs> yeah. For all the dogs? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> She's like, Haley. It's you know what? That was so like insane for me to hear Drake say my name. Are you serious? Oh, I yeah. didn't listen to that. I don't, I don't listen it's, to Drake. Something Paradise? Something. Yeah, it's like Paradise something with a D. D? <laughs> um, this Halloween, I didn't actually dress up. This is who I am. Like, I I do like hurting people, but... um. You didn't even say who you are. This is who I am. I'm Leatherface, so... Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Where are your credentials? I don't think I need to have credentials, but right, right, right. Feed me blood. Blood. No, blood. because low key, as a child, I would suck on blood from that came out of my, my fingers and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would suck on pennies. Really? Why? Because uh, I like the taste of copper. You were iron deficient. 
I'm still Oh my iron god, deficient. the children yearn for iron. <laughs> Put them back in the in the mines. Put iron. them back in the mines. Um, no, you were so iron deficient, you were like, I need to get it from a source, and you'd suck on the fucking My copper. mom caught me, and she got so mad, like, and she's like, why are you doing this? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, that's so gross. And I couldn't comprehend that people had money before me. Yeah. Like, I, like, I just owned it, and I just thought, like, okay, she got it from the store, like... This didn't belong Literally. to anyone before me. She's like, no, millions and billions of people have touched that one penny. I'm like, yeah. you up. literally contracted, like, I don't even know what you contracted. Like, actually, the Stone Age disease. <laughs> like, you know, like, when the Ice Age melts and then there's, like, the super bug is going to come out. Polio, you got polio. Bro, the the <laughs> super bug is coming. Okay, my <laughs> nephew was born the year that pennies got removed. So he doesn't know what a penny is. That's not real. Because even if you don't know what a penny is, like, you see pennies in, like, movies and cartoons. Nah. nah I, you I wouldn't see so. that. I really don't think so. There's but no I mean, pennies in America, either. And, like, Spongebob. That's, like, their currency, though. They just have, like, random-ass, like, dollar bills. No, no, no. He's, like... Like, quarters. Remember when, when, when he's, like, at home alone? Because he gets scared. Oh, the he, penny episode. The penny, the chip, and the used napkin. Indoors. That was a freaky I ass episode. <laughs> you know he starts singing? Yeah. He's like, take it away, Penny. Yes. Of course a kid's gonna know what the Penny Wait, is. Wait, isn't there a character named Penny? No. That, um, I don't know why that would be wrong. <laughs> it's not like she's like a copper. We got, she did get a fan made, or a fan sent question. Who's a fan? So the oh question is, should we print more money? It's by Ryan. Should oh we print more God. money? Uh, Yeah. Why? Because money is not a real thing, and it, we should just print yeah, more money. Yeah. Think is like what the fuck. When I was younger, I would like hear this question. I'd be like, "You're so fucking dumb. Of course we can't print more money. Well, yeah. You're so damn stupid. Literally, you can't do it because of this, 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 that." But now, at my grown age, I'm like, "No, you can just print more money. Like I don't get it. Like actually, I don't get it because you can literally just dump, like say, no, nothing is going to change, but there's going to be more money. Like you can do that. You can just do that. Like I don't yeah. What it. if you don't tell anyone? Yeah, right? Like, you should start yeah. printing more money. Like, I just feel like you can do it and be fine. Like, but, but like, why does one bread cost, like, one trillion Rwandan dollars? <laughs> why like, do you want in Rwandan dollars? Like, I just... Because, like, you know, Rwanda from... Uh, you, oh, that's Uganda. Uganda Knuckles. I fucking hated that meme. Don't even play with me. Don't fucking play around. That was I'm such a playing. good meme. <laughs> that was so. And then there was the soup guy. What What happened to my spaghetti? <laughs> That's what he called the soup guy. Because it was like in a soup. <laughs> yeah. I thought... Somebody touched my spaghetti. <laughs> Bro, we're literally on the like millennial track. We're literally... That's what she was saying recently. She was like, oh, do you think that Gen Z is on his way out? <laughs> We oh, are. No. We are. Uh, no, you know what pissed me off is when people are like, now they've just decided that Skibbity Toilet is just going to be an exception from the world. I like, love Skibbity Toilet. I think Skibbity Toilet is so funny. Right? And like, I don't know. I feel like as a kid, I um, would get like addicted to like overstimulation yeah. like in like shows. So I know if I was a kid and my mom stopped me from watching Skibbity Toilet, I would be so I would rage the fuck out. I'd be like, I need to watch it now. I would throw a fucking tamper tantrum. I'm like, don't you? I'm not playing. I'd literally skip the stream. I'm not playing. Skibbity. I'm not playing. Give me back yes, my fucking yes. phone. Skibbity. <laughs> Low key, that's why I'm insomnia because I wouldn't get off the damn phone and I'd be like, I need to watch more YouTube. It's because that damn phone. Like, it really is because that damn phone. You know phone. what is a crazy memory that I have of you that you do not know that I have? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I would be like coming you you know how you used to live like really close to me? Yeah. Sometimes I would see your car, right? And I'd be walking Before we were friends? Yeah, before we were friends. And I would look into your window, Whoa. but you would never see me because you were always on that damn phone. <laughs> this window? You no, you would see me on my first floor window. No. I would see you like in your car when your oh. dad is like dropping you home. And I'd be like, he literally cannot see me, I'll be, could see me right now because he's on his damn phone. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I would be on my damn phone. I was recently thinking about that where I'm like, bro, I'm thinking about all the time I lost with my parents when I'd be on my phone on, with the car. And I'm like, bro, like, low key, because if they die tomorrow, then I'm done. Like, that's I'm really fucked be up. Like, Why would you do that to yourself? Though? I also do think that that's before I go to bed. I'm like, because I'm like in between like my grandma's, my dad's, and my mom's. I'm like, what if right now I'm at my grandma's and my mom and dad's house just explodes? 
Yeah. I will never know until I wake up. Yeah. And then I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I have to go That's, call them right now. That is really valid. I, my dad actually is a danger to himself because multiple times he'll get like, like inebriated and will make food and like sleep. And then there's been two oh. separate times where they're like the spaghetti he was making. Spaghetti. No. I'm, fucking, I'm not fucking playing around. And then um, it will like boil up and, and like dry. It will, and, and the house will fill with smoke. And I'm like, no, because <gasps> he will die of like CO, like carbon I did monoxide. that once. But not with spaghetti. I, I put like uh, those like ramen cups in the microwave, but I forgot the water. And then, it, oh my then my God. microwave almost blew up because it like Bruh. started a fire inside. And my mom was like, Cause she always says like, oh, something smells like it's burning. Like, yeah. I, like even like, like after like people were at mine, she's like, I smell gas. Like there's a gas leak. And I'm That's like, crazy. No, no, no. And so when I'm like leaving like the microwave. She's like, it smells like something's burning. I'm like, you're, you're just you smelling. You gaslighted things. your mother. And, right. then, and then I hear, Pee- and I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> Do you know how a microwave works? No, not for it. It heats up the individual molecules. Like yeah. it literally. Oh, I guess that's how every heating works. No more. No, I, cause I you okay with that. No, because I didn't know it in- heats up the individual molecules. Because I was like, it was like the, the way the particle waves, like it actually in- individually heats up the. Molecules. Oh, is that why the middle's so fucking? Yeah. Cold. Exactly. I haven't had a microwave in like um, maybe ten years. Damn, I don't think I could live without my. You're microwave. like natural. My brother's like um really about the non microwave life. He's like that will fucking kill you. My thinking is like. Things like that, and so what? Like, so what if it kills me? I'm tired. I'm dead tired. <laughs> um, and oh, I don't remember what I was gonna say. My brother today caught me watching a um, Roblox tragedy video. And he's like, what the "Wait, fuck the one with the you? white dude?" It was like this guy crashing his car in Roblox and hitting a motorcyclist. What? <laughs> Do you guys ever like watch like really fucked up compilations or no? Like, 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 like gore? Yeah. I did once as a kid, um, like, but it wasn't like a compilation. It was like Reddit fifty fifty, like yeah. And then it, it basically was a compilation because of my bad luck. Also, sorry, mm. I, I'm taking this thing because. But the you know, it was never this. actually bad luck. You know, it was never like a choice, like between like it was never like a chance. It that was like you a would, link. Yeah, it, the link would always direct you to one specific thing, but the title would be like it's either this or that. But it would always be like predetermined. There's never a chance. So your life is actually a scam. Like, I don't know why what? you should think, yeah. And so it didn't it didn't do an either or link? No. No, you can't do an the, either or link. The, the, the it was always predetermined. So one way as a child I'd be like, okay, which Why are you guys sa- breaking this news to me? Like like <laughs> in front of the camera, like this is like you guys have to well, sit me down and like console me for this. Because Aww. like I'm trying to free you from the matrix. Red Holy fuck, daily daily does a red pill. Um, He's my red I'm actually clear pilled as fuck right now. You're clear. You're clear pilled schizoposic. I need a Zan pill, and I'm not joking. Like, I'm too tired of all the Did information. Did you see the comment that was like, he looks like he's snorting Xanax? Oh, from your from, friend? Yeah, from and the she girl. was real. She was real. I mean, like, I need a Zan pill because Layla knows I have been on my fucking conspiracy, like, government grind where yeah. I won't stop talking about how the government is actually like fucked up and isn't doing shit for citizens and I'm like overwhelmed by these thoughts that we're all just alone and I'm like no what I need is like a, a big strong horse pill for me <laughs> like it's really like, fucked oh, up but that says something about society that, the, no, it that the fact that you need to survive in the society is you need a horse pill that says something oh <laughs> society rat race money laundering yeah oh, um, back to the, the cooking and like blowing up your house story I, when I had like my friends over once and I was like really like inebriated drunk and I was like, I need to, I really am my father's son because I was like, I need to make food. So I turned on food and I went to sleep and Blessing, who was in my living room at the time, woke up because the fucking smell, the house was smelling so foul that he woke up and he was like, what the hell is that? Turned off my oven and went back to sleep. He saved my house. Like, that is I'm crazy. I'm so dead serious. He saved my entire house. What the fuck? Because I woke was up this in recently? The, yeah. Like, like August, maybe. Yeah. Like, maybe July. Yeah. Oh, like, I think that was the one I couldn't go to. Like, um, if it literally, like, yeah. I really am my father's son, too, so. That's like, that's like when you get drunk, like, when people get drunk, they're like, hand me my keys. Except for you, it's not hand me my <laughs> keys. It's like, it's like, let me go whip up a me, meal. Yeah. But it's, what's crazy is I don't even like making food. Like, I'm so serious. One thing about me is 
making food is a hassle. Like such a hassle, I'm not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. And you're not gonna make me do it. Unless it's like frozen food or pre-made, that's it. But recently I've been on my vibe of making a salad, but past that, like I am not going to sit there and spend more than half an hour making a single thing because I'm gonna devour it in less than five minutes and I'm gonna feel like, why did I just waste an hour doing something that I didn't? But no, like I'm not- That's like that. the That's total so opposite of me. Why I think like it's so like awesome, like just like going about the process of making food. Yeah, it's like well, spa day for me. Yeah, no, like I have made so many like foods by scratch, like. Um, I made like dinner rolls. I'm just like kneading out the dough. I think Bruh. it's because I'm very like hands on. Like, or maybe it's because you're a woman. Sorry. Let's just sit with that real quick. Sorry, sorry. I've been in my misogynistic grade. Like crazy. <laughs> no, it's, okay, but it's a PewDiePie compilation. It's a PewDiePie compilation. I've been racist. I've been homophobic. I've been. This is why I can't put it on my LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I literally asked her yesterday, I'm like, can I put should I put my show until like on LinkedIn since I like oh. did so much for it? Like should I like am I, is that right? And she had a really good answer, but she was like, Oh, if you're looking to do creative stuff, yeah, but otherwise like don't. But um yeah, it's scary. Like like I how real can I be? Like you guys like my my workplace employers, my future ones aren't limiting my realness. Yeah, no, I mean, I always have, like, thoughts that I literally, like, cannot say out loud, and when I do say them out loud, it's, like, ruining me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I, no. I feel like I've surrounded myself with enough people with my kind of, like, communication style mm -hmm. where I don't have that problem anymore. Yeah. But I used to have the problem constantly as a child, where I'd be say, I would say something, and people would just look at me like, are you, Girl, what? what is wrong with you? Yeah. I don't remember that about you, but, yeah. I mean, no, yeah. it's because you, well, we all had our moment, because we would always hang out with, like, NPCs, right? Yeah. So we all had, like, our moment where it'd be, like, like, I don't know, be like, oh, what the fuck is my laugh? Kind of <laughs> shit, right? Like, I'm like, oh, man behind the slaughter, and then just look at you, like, in grade like six. that fucking dude who was sitting behind, behind us. us. That dude was oh, so cool. Oh, I heard it was an epidemic. Like, every, every single theater showing the FNAF movie, like, was, like, the comment said every single Gen Z was, like, showing off their stand-up comedian uh, act. At the yeah. Oh, movie. yeah, yeah. Some people I knew, they're like, oh, some dude behind us, like, wouldn't shut the fuck up. And I'm like, you're better than me because I'm turning around and I'm saying something. If they, if they do it, like, three strikes, you're out. Yeah. Like, this dude, thank God, because we, we were watching the FNAF movie. Just All three of us. Yeah. Don't play around And there's this fucking, like, dude behind us. Like, the girl who was with him was really chill. She was just of his baby. Wrong movie, but, you know, like, love her anyway. For baby? There was his grandma. Yeah, she was well, just up his baby from the uh, sister location. Okay, but that's lit. Sister location is my favorite game, by the way. I just want to see it. It is. Awesome. It's my favorite game. Um, there was this, like, older woman to, on that row where the annoying guy was behind us. And she, I looked, because one time he was talking and I look over, like, being like, what the fuck? He won't shut up. And I saw this woman, like, being like, shut up, like, shh, like, whatever. And then he went, he stopped talking after that. Yeah. But so, speaking about sister location, low-key, it's my favorite game, kind of, maybe, I don't know. But you're right, you did say first, so I am just copying it. Like, I'm sorry. But secondly, in grade eight, there was this girl in my class, and she was like, can I see your phone? And I'm like, okay. And... <laughs> <laughs> you know the story she's like can i see your phone i'm like okay and she goes on the app store and buys sister location she's like i just i'm like what did what and she's like i wanted to play the game and i'm like you, you bought the game like half your storage gone just because this bitch wanted to play <laughs> sister location she, it was five dollars on the app store oh my god yeah and it charged my dad's account and and at the time i was such a people pleaser. i was like no it's okay like I'll, I'll i can make up a lie like it's fine like you no you play ahead like i don't care you can play like i don't care I literally would have started freaking the fuck out because like I still have it to this day. Don't play around with me. No, 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 no you made me play it on uh, on your yeah. yeah. Huh? I was playing because that's the only my only experience playing a FNAF game on your iPhone. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, like I'm uh -huh. and I need to restart the camera because it's recording. So I'm oh, not do, I, do I clap? Wait, do it. Wait, wait. Don't play. Oh, like, y'all, no, the camera couldn't see that, but I just squatted the fog down. Like, Yeah, <laughs> he got Megan knees. Megan. Damn, I wish I had Megan knees. Oh, my God. It my Megan knees sound like uh, like popcorn in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you hear that? That was my ankle. Oh, my God. That was actual... Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't fucking like any of you. Fuck 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 you.
What my the fucking fuck is best. wrong with you? I love all of you. You are my best friend, and you are my second best friend. Because I love them so much. I made it? I... <laughs> this is a... yep. They will try to say that I said fuck you behind the camera. I didn't do that. Let's get that real. Like, I'm not joking. Because I know you motherfuckers are going to play with me, and I'm not playing. Layla, you can't play with him. <laughs> but yeah, no. But now, like, I feel like it brought out, like, the... Like, I don't think I'm, like, entirely socially reformed. But, like... Because, like, when we were watching the movie and, like, there was Easter eggs or stuff like that, I would whisper to you guys. Yeah, I'm not... like, hey. Yeah, no, like, oh, shit, he's, he's wearing this, he's, he's doing mm-hmm. this. Um, but this dude behind us was, like... Like, it was, like, silent in a the theater, and this dude's like, um, he's a victim of a man who had the slaughter. No, but it's, like, they do that Loud as fuck. He so wouldn't be whispering. Yeah. He would literally say it at, like, like how he would to talk to anyone. Like, normal volume. And, you know, if the entire theater could hear it, bitch, you are not fucking whispering. Like, and we he were, was like, right behind us. He was yeah. right behind us. We were, it was, like, a megaphone to us. You know, yeah. he, he thought he was, like, that dude who was watching Spider-Verse. And when, yeah, when, did a backflip. Then it. Oh, oh wait no! Sorry. No, he, no, he like about. opens up his when <laughs> it, this is the one you didn't watch. But when what? when Miles Morales opens up his thing and is like, "I'm Spider Man," um, or whatever he does, and then someone in the back of the theater yells, "He's black!" <laughs> and everyone starts lolling. Yeah, like like he got the whole theater yeah. laughing. That's what the dude behind us thought he was. Yeah, no, he thought he was he was like stand up comedian. Like this is his moment. Like everyone's gonna laugh at this joke. Um, you know what? That was a funny joke, though. I can't deny when he said that was a bad husband. I was like, that I was, was laughing fucking funny. Down, but I was laughing out of annoyance. I'm like, no way this guy's a real person. Yeah, that's what I felt. I like, was like, yeah, no, no, that has to be satire. He had yeah. the uh, voice. And then, um, <laughs> but he made the second joke, and then nobody fucking laughed. And then we were like, this motherfucker is trying to, like... Girl, do you think it was a joke? Because I thought he wasn't. Like, I thought he was, like, seriously talking to his friend. Like, no, that's the guy. Like, that that guy, he's blah, blah, blah. I think he was trying to be funny. I think um, he was trying to be funny. Wow. Well, if I was to critique him, I just think he didn't have enough, like, punchline, and his tone didn't really indicate a humorous thing, unless he, his tone was specifically to do whatever, anyways, I'm not playing around. Um, but, um, Haley, having Haley, like, with us for FNAF was, like, the best experience, experience. because, first of all, I, like, one time I turned to Haley, and I'm like, that's Michael Afton, and she's like, no, that's William. <laughs> um, and, um, what's it called? And, like, j- anything I didn't understand, like, <laughs> you would immediately just tell me, like, whis- whispering, like, n- don't play around, like, Haley's not annoying, don't, uh, And whisper it into my ear or Layla's ear, and, like, it was, like, watching, like, a YouTube video explaining everything, but, like, in real time. And so it was perfect for me. Yeah. I have so much to say about that movie. Like... I don't understand the low rating. I don't understand the hate I don't understand, like, I, I kind of understand because I think what it is is that movie was very, very, very specific to only for the fans to, like, really en- en- enjoy it. But even then, I'm like, I feel like that's a, not a hard story to follow. Mm, okay, I think, um, the actually, I think the reason it has such a low rating is because people like me, who, like, know the lore inside oh. out, like, think it's the game, the, not the game, the movie is not a reflection of what we know in the lore. Like, okay, since when is purple guy and phone guy the same person? Since when is Vanessa in this yeah. in this world? Since when is she William Afton's no. daughter? Is phone guy actually? Is this gonna be a crazy guy. episode? Is phone guy actually um, purple guy? No, he's not. Stop saying that. This is yeah, literally, that's literally a theory from twenty fifteen. Yeah, that's like yeah. a Tumblr theory. No, it's from Matt no, it's from MatPat. MatPat in yeah. like the second. That was the first video I ever watched from MatPat. And he was like, "Fun guy." It would literally be recommended to me like five times over, and I was like, "Fine, damn, I'll fucking watch his YouTube video." And I watched it, and it was at the time one of the best YouTube videos I ever watched. I'm like. People make like analytical videos like this. Whoa! And it was so yeah. easy to follow, and I loved it. And I was so convinced that purple guy was William Afton, but um, no, William Afton was not a human. Yeah, he being wasn't a real person in that in that era. Because then yeah. the books came out. Yeah, no, I found the book at a thrift store, and I was considering buying it, but I was like, oh, someone bought it for me and gave it to me. That's really sweet. The fr- the, which is what I was mentioning in the movie. I said that's a reference to the book. Mm-hmm. Um, the first book, I I don't know if the book is called it, but there's a story in it called Into the Pit. Mm. where there's a dude and this is like right when freddie fazbear's like like back in the day like popping like everyone's like going there he go- like his father like goes there and is like whatever and then he 
goes there later on when it's like late like no one goes there anymore like it's a thing and there's like a dusty ass gross ass ball pit and he goes into the ball pit just to like dick around and he comes out and it's back in in the day wow and it's like it's like a time machine he comes out and he's like playing with all these like people and so when when what's her name she went in abby the ball yeah pit. yeah but that's not even her name She's ginger and she's baby. And she doesn't have green eyes. Like what the hell? Yeah, Don't no. She's ba- she's supposed to be baby, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what they tried to. She should have had blue eyes. She should have had ginger hair. Green. Green eyes. Yeah, you're true. You're so true about that. But also like Gareth. Such an interesting. But uh, you told me during the theater that there was never a name for him. So okay, there was a suspected name which was came from the books and like the crossword puzzle. Which was Evan, mm-hmm. because, like, if you, like, do it a certain way, it, it like, selects Evan. Um, which was what we were going with, but it was never, like, confirmed. Elizabeth was confirmed, Michael was confirmed, William was confirmed, Vanessa's confirmed. Nothing for the crying child. Also, mm-hmm. I wish the spring trap scene was, like, crazier. I thought the spring trap scene was so awkward because, like, it was, like, a minute of him going, Ugh! like individually i'm like i get what i get the point like i get it like you don't have to drag this up for like a minute (laughs) um also apparently he has like five minutes of screen time william afton so i thought it was really interesting off bro like Oh, um, as a fan, oh, I thought have, this movie is amazing. We have to like, this is he. We have to like, like <laughs> premise is like, a <laughs> nav spoilers because we're spoilers. If you don't know FNAF by now, like, fuck you. Like, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm not fucking playing around. Because Red Moon recording and I'm not playing. So, pause. How can you uh-uh. tell us Red? She doesn't know about Red Moon's recording. <laughs> Don't play with me. Stop fucking playing with me. Um, what's it called? The FNAF movie is lit. Um, I did you? Do you guys like the? Oh, I'm so happy we saw the day of because the day afterwards I saw online all about Matt Pat and I was like, damn, like I'm really happy. We saw it the second day. Yeah, but we no, didn't we get saw it the day of. On. No, there was previews, but we saw the, the technical release date. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, that baby needs to shut the fuck up. There's no reason for it to be loud. It's literally eight o'clock. It's Stop. Less I'm screaming that. Like I will be. I'm, I'm so like serious. Sugar. I know the security. Yeah. I literally know the security. I'm gonna call the police on that fucking baby because it's really fucking recording. <laughs> I'm recording right now. Send his ass to baby jail. No, you done. need to like, like, like get like a spray bottle of like uh, lighter fluid and then put yeah. it through the door. And that then, is like, a good idea. And you know what? <laughs> that baby doesn't know about red news recording because the fucking camera is red and that baby is talking. <laughs> It's, it, it, <laughs> it's blue. You, like if like free range like what would you do like if you're really mad at a baby because like i don't think i could ever hit at a baby but i'd be like ah! when <laughs> i was a child <laughs> i fucking hated babies i um, still hate babies in day i some babies are chill <laughs> this is why i can't have this on my linkedin because i'm a camp counselor like say, i fucking hate kids <laughs> But the thing is, I was thinking, I'm like, they would have to watch through, this would be like our ninth or eighth episode. They would have to watch through nine episodes. True, true. Um, but what was I going to say? When I was a child, I used to hate the damn fuck out of babies. But when I, at this age in my life, I'm like, something is really going on in my brain. Because when I see a baby, I have like the mechanism where I'm like, oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never had that That, piss- that pisses me off like. Yeah. I was watching, or I was sharing my screen yesterday to, like, my friends, like, on Discord, and there's a video of a baby, like, just doing some, like, I guess, like, cute thing, mm-hmm. and I, I said, let me open the comments, and it's gonna be, like, one of, like, three things, it's gonna be, like, I'm too young, I'm too young, I'm too young, or mm-hmm. baby fever hitting real hard right yeah. now, or I'm too young, or whatever, like, yeah. what the fuck they're just talking about, and it's all, like, people, like, just, like, raving about babies. Um, I, people are too obsessed with babies because, like, like you said, like, oh, people are like, I'm too young, I want to have a baby, baby fever, this, this, that. Because there have been, like, when I was 17 and now 18, I'm like, oh, I just want to become a father. What the fuck am I talking about? Mm-hmm. Like, what is going on in my brain? To yeah, me, no. it's like, it's so cringe. I just feel like I have not connected with that in humanity that I, when I see my mom and when my sister talk about, like, my nieces and nephew and being like, I want to take them Halloween trick-or-treating or, like, I want to, like, um... Just, like, I see a cute video of them, like, oh, look at Leila, look at this cute video of them, like, speaking, um, Ethiopian. I'm like, 
Whoa. I'm just like, I Bruh, just did out. your parents ever be like, look at what your cousin's doing? Like, and oh like, my God. <laughs> as a child. That's yeah. so dope, but it was like my friends. Because I was like the best yeah. of my cousins. Like, I was like the, the top class. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. They were being flexed upon you. No, other way. Yeah, I was being flexed on them. Yeah. Like, they're like, oh, look how he's cleaning the dishes. Because <laughs> I was like, I was like, uh, very like into cleaning when I was a kid. I was like, mm-hmm. oh my God, like, I need to do the dishes. I think I like had like, it like I had like anxiety and I needed to clean. Um, but like my grandparents and my aunts and uncles would see me do that and they're like, "You see what she's doing? Um, you gotta step up." Okay, useless kid. Like get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. But I had you know Kit, right? I've never met Kit in my life. Kit is from. <laughs> I've known them since grade one. Okay. And they're That's like, uh like very smart like very everything like uh thing my mom like whenever i'd bring like kit to my house or like hang out with kit they'd be like so why um, aren't you like them why are, why <laughs> didn't you get a 97 on that test and i'm like mom i gotta like because i'm a 94 because your like, mom was confused like since you guys are friends shouldn't you guys share like the same brand I'm yeah like, and like I, it's not like I, by no means i was like not like stupid yeah like it, when we were in like middle school i was like top like honor roll like student like hey like, um, uh, i don't know where i think it was because I, I went out of french immersion that's like it all went wrong i went down yeah same into the thing i but, my mom doesn't compare me to my friends but if i do something bad she's like it's those fucking friends especially <laughs> if they're black like my mom <laughs> would be like it's because of Jamaican. It's <laughs> straight up because of Jamaican. That's insane. I, thought, I was going to be like, oh, your mom, like, be like, oh, George is such a bad influence. No, my mom loves you. Oh, my God. She does. That's... She she knows you're gay, and sometimes she's like, he's gay. Yo, wow. my mom, I am so I am so sure she thinks we're dating. Really? Yeah, I am Who... so sure she thinks we're dating. Your I, mom? Yeah, no, my mom. Oh. For me and Layla. Mm-hmm. I, I've told her, I'm like, no, we're not dating. You don't get it. Does your mom know that you? No. Okay, yeah. But I didn't think it like my yeah, family supports you. <laughs> my mom also thinks you're really chill. She's like, oh. Whenever to hit your mom up with her phone number that I've saved on my phone. <laughs> oh. You know, you know what? I, I would go like uh, when I would come here for parties. I'm like, okay, I'm going to George's now. She's like, okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna call. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> she's just flexing it. I'm like, okay. She's like, yeah, no, because you messaged me on his phone once, so now I have his number. That's yeah, that's how I have her number too. And I'm like, <laughs> I doubt you're gonna call him, and he's gonna like, like that exchange is gonna be anything terrible. I mean, like, I know you're very understanding, and I know she could like, you guys are both like the same. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> speaking about babies, I'm so thankful that I have like no reason to go inside a woman's vagina because. <laughs> Frankly, the thought of like, I sometimes think about, I'm like, when I have a baby, there is no going back. Yeah. Like, that is yeah. something that Sometimes is. Sometimes ask for adoption. <laughs> <laughs> that is like fully something I have to deal with for the entire rest of my entire damn life. So, people who are straight and just be willy nilly like that. Popping out babies. Like, oh, yeah. Straight like, men, not like... straight women, not straight women, straight men. Yeah, like, no, no, I don't want to use a condom. Like, no, I don't want to, like... Ew! Like, I, like, I hear people say those things, and I'm, and they're like, and I'm like, what if you get pregnant? Because, mm-hmm. like, me, I, like, I'm, like, so, like I'm, I'm not about, like, any of that. Anyways, like, what if you get an STD? Like, fetuses are gross. Yeah, like, I don't... For me, I'm like, I'm like, oh, you just have no fear in your heart at all. Yeah. Like, not even, like, a twinge. It's like, yeah, I get we're in Canada. We can get abortions. Like, we can get things. But, like... Even, I had a dream once that I was pregnant, and I, like, I was, like, full term, like, no going back, and I'm, like, freaking the fuck out. I'm, like, I don't want to have this baby, like, and there's no going back. Mm -hmm. Like, you literally, like, have to have that baby. And you have to take care of it, and you have to spend so much time and attention. You have to, like, like, uh, 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 uh. And if you kill the baby, you get homicide. Infanticide. And you go to jail for 20 years. Infanticide, yeah. Infanticide. Um, I don't understand sexuals for that reason because like no way you're telling me you need to you need to fuck so bad that you don't care if you get AIDS, you don't care if you get <laughs> herpes, herpes, gonorrhea. No, herpes or gonorrhea, anything that makes your vagina itch and <laughs> what? and you can have a baby on top of that. That is like the combination, it just the risk outweighs the benefits. 
until I realized people literally get fueled by sex and they're just like, I need to fuck, I need to fuck right now. Girl, the oh my god, horniness is like Deep. a gift from Lucifer. Like it is like so weird pre nut insanity. Like <laughs> like that that is what it is. Like pre nut insanity is so real. Like the length sometimes I'd be going. I told this to Layla one time. I opened this app to hook up with people. I will not be mentioning it. Like that app is <laughs> demonic, and I will not be promoting demonic things on my on on this show. I opened this app for hooking up, and I spent three and a half hours on that app for no hookup. And I'm like, but, Prina and Sandy, like that was Prina and Sandy compelling me to go and scroll through so many people just to not find someone. And actually, I got my heart broken because me and this person we were like really like clicking, um, and then he blocked me because I said <gasps> I don't kiss people. What? I think people, okay, this is something, like, I have, like, a list of topics that I, like, could go on and on about. I think that, and I would probably get into this, like, more at a later date. I think the idea of sex right now is so dystopian to me. Mm -hmm. Like, you can sell it, you can buy it, you can, like, like, and I'm like, oh my fucking god, like, because for me, I believe in, uh, like, uh, like soul ties. So, Aww. like, when that, so, like, it, like, if you have sex with a person, it's, like, you and that person are, like, forever binded in a way. Aww. Like, like, that's why I'm, like, I'm never having sex ever. Like, like, you, like, sex till, like, saving sex till marriage. Like, I'm not gonna give my soul True. and, like, connect my soul eternally yeah. to someone just for them to fuck me over in the in the future like and i guess like i guess divorce is a thing too but for me it's like so dystopian it's just like yeah let me go out and like get that connection get that soul tie and and like move on to the next yeah. it's like it's like doom scrolling but for people and connections mm-hmm. bring back the love pile <laughs> bring back the love pile oh my fucking god bring i actually mean this in in like the like i think we've equated sex to love mm-hmm. like oh yeah like like or like having like a marriage partner like one partner is that that is what love is love is with any person anyone anything like bring back the love pile why am i just like and i'm not saying like polyamory like polyamorous relationship or like Mm -hmm. polygamy or whatever i'm saying like why am i not like living in a house with my friends and like we're all sleeping in a massive bed and like that we're all piled on top of <laughs> what is what is that word when it's like um a platonic like a platonic soulmate kind of thing Damn that's how i feel about yeah. george i oh feel like God. he's my platonic soulmate like, like like think about it like one, okay think about it one day like would you want to like just give your entire like 365 24 7 to like someone else and like like you're bound to that person forever like keep going i'm trying to think of how i'm gonna explain this like i feel like when you get married yes you're like bound to that person forever like and you love them but i feel like people think that that's like the one thing that yeah that's the to, only form of love like, like that's that's, that's the, what you what need to reach for. and if you don't have that then like fuck you like you're losing you're missing out that's what people that's why people want kids because they think they're missing out on something <gasps> yeah the fact that some people are like oh we have a broken marriage like i think kids like let's have a kid so we can fix it wow like you are one of the stupidest people on ever like met on earth the fact that you were like let's save our relationship through having a kid is one of the stupidest that is gonna kill it further yeah like <laughs> i think i think like the like yearning for like a like a cute little desk job with a wife of 20 years and two kids and then we can retire like when i'm unable to move and i have to think so i've given my entire like love and life Mm -hmm. to like this system this is so like dystopian (laughs) no because we live in a dystopian novel like i'm so sorry like the the skies are gray can we talk about that Stop, that's my brother. That's going too far. <laughs> no, I meant this. Guys are great. Is like weather machine talk. What? Have you ever mentioned the weather machine? Have I? I don't think so. I don't think you did. Don't talk about it on your own. The weather. Okay. <laughs> don't talk about the that. weather machine is crazy because I don't think so because I feel like he's on my ass. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you ever have. That's oh. good. Like keep it. Keep, keep you know what? Head. It can be a little secret weather machine. What am I talking about? Do you think does your brother watch? He doesn't watch. I don't think he knows it exists, but I feel like he's like, like he's like, 
Yeah. Let's get into items. Because oh, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll oh, go first. I kind of have two items, but they're both very short. This is my first. I'm not playing around anymore. Like, I was before, but. Wait, you have water in there? Yeah, I do. No. Um, now you're shopping. I'm just gonna so, on. this is my first item. I really have to go close to the camera. I'm just like, I'm tired of you. It's iconic. Um, this is my lighter. This is my meth lighter. And I say this um, not because I meth. smoke meth, because meth. this lighter. What do you need something like this for? Tell me. Like, that's a torch. That's a torch, exactly. Like, you are only using that <laughs> for meth. Like, that is. It wasn't recording? No, it says it's done out of the space. It says space <gasps> is done. Don't play around with me anymore. So I have to Oh my to... goodness. It's okay. I can just go back and delete. I have 1,700. My stupidest dumb. I'm the <laughs> stupidest human on earth because, frankly, I could move every single picture off of this onto my computer, but I'm worried that, like, what if it deletes everything? No! I'm also involved. scared of that. I'm literally also scared of that. I have it on Google Photos. I have it on yeah. my phone. I have it on everything. And yeah. I'm still like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Also, like, I it's pulled gonna delete my, like, everything. Shins. It's going to delete everything. I'm, I'm never going to get it back, and I'm literally going to... And Why I think about this... Why don't you put it on a USB? Yeah, that's what I mean. If I do that, I'm like, no, I'm never going to get it. And I'm just so dumb because, frankly... Oh, is this Beyonce? Yeah, that's bit. Did she do the on mute thing? She did, and I think I failed it. Like, I'm so serious. I think I failed it. Like, did you even sing her? I didn't even know that was a song of hers. Look around, everybody on mute. Look around, this You fucking back. failed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. The fuck? Fuck, oh, yeah. Okay, I got it back up. <laughs> I literally would fail because I would forget. <laughs> oh, is it back? Oh. Fucking whore? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just, just give your butt for. Oh my. Layla, you just... how did your you? How did your arm turn white like that? Um, because it had no blood crazy. in it. Dummy. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is my item. I got it at the. I stole it from the thrift store because I'm not playing around. This was six, seven dollars. Like, are you kidding me? No, this needs to be free. There's a lot of things that need to be free. <laughs> for snacks, uh, hygiene, and stupid things like lighters. Yeah. And um, it's really funny looking. And someone I, in China made that. Yeah, right? Sorry. Like, come on. And so I, I use it to light my um, my yes, blunts. Yeah. Just such a joke, I never smoke. And uh, my candles. Oh. I was thinking, have you seen the video of that one lighter? And it's like it was like an advertiser. I don't know if you got it. And it was like a lighter that could light like six candles. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, how many, how many uh, candles can this light? And they go between like the, the five the, of them. Yeah. And the first one's just a regular one and it lights. <laughs> The one. one, and then and then they get to the last one, and it's like Six ultra mega eight. slayer yeah. five thousand, and they turn it on, and it's like a fucking lightsaber. They literally no, I, that's for meth. That is not for meth. That is, that for, is for fucking murder. slaying no, a dragon. No, that's for meth yeah. because meth users are like, I need to get every single molecule, and just like you said, it heats up the individual molecules, but instead of getting individually, it heats up the cluster of the meth crystals, Jeez. like and all at once, boom. Jeez. The, I, that's, you know any meth users in your life? Get them that. I'm so serious. We they don't will have forever. Yeah. Oh, I met this guy from Arkansas, and I think he does math. Like he was telling me. That is really. really I, he like, he was telling me about his life, and he was like, "Yeah, I pop pills. I get in fights. I do drugs." <laughs> I was like, "I guess that's what. What else are you supposed to do in Arkansas? You know?" Like, <laughs> oh yeah. No, because really if you were born in Alaska, people would be like, "What's the move? Nothing. Nothing's going. Yeah, there's he, no move in Alaska." He posts on his notes like, "What's the move? Like, bitch." Like the move is sitting in your house and being like, "Damn, there's no move." <laughs> Literally. Like, you know, I went to Barry and I was like, damn, there's so many like dispensaries here for like, fuck, like that, like, dude, I didn't even know people at Barry smoke weed. And my friend's like, bitch, what else can you do? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, literally. You, like, there's literally nothing, like, you go to Barry Bum, and, that's and it. you sit down in a chair and you like, look at the water. Yeah. It's literally for the elders. When I went to, when I was going to Timmins, I, we passed through this really small town and in that small town, there was one dispensary and I'm like, Oh, like dispensaries are like that, where they're in every single town. Mm -hmm. Like this town had a McDonald's, a, a, a warehouse, and a fucking um, a dispensary. Like one of the like 15 stores it had was a dispensary. I thought that was insane. And I thought it was really awesome too. Like, are you kidding me? That's so funny. Like, I know that shit gets major business. Um, my second item is my costume. That's not going to be physically shown on here, but digitally shown to you. So look, that's <laughs> Leia, yeah. And that costume was really, like, that was my last year costume. And um, it's just the, it, it's it's actually so good. They put me in the Guinness Book of World Records for Halloween, generally. Can, we, can I ask a question? Yeah. Do you think this is a form of like mental illness? Yeah. 
Like us talking with camera. This is so dystopian. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. But no, the reason I'm going to tell you is really dystopian because I grew up like to me, it's so normalized the fact that people talking to cameras like yeah, that, like, like YouTubers. Yeah, like that makes sense yeah. to me. Like no, no, no. But to me, I'm like this is so crazy because like um. I always like think I'm like an alien or like I feel like an alien sometimes and I'm like okay let's let's look at this like an alien literally at some point me talking to this piece of amalgamation of like electricity like firing throughout yeah. itself someone else is gonna have another device that is like firing electricity to watch it to and watch. they will it, it's like I'm time traveling yeah th I think about that I'm like photos are a, ta a bit of a time travel <laughs> But I'm like, I look at my computer, I'm like, I'm scrolling through YouTube. Like, the fact that they're, like... Kajillion, bajillion. Years ago, like, they're, like that people came up... No, like, the fact that YouTube is real is such a trippy thing. Like, what do you mean I'm... No, like, I can't even verbally put into words that I'm scrolling on my digital monitor through YouTube. Do you, like... <laughs> uh, uh, like, YouTube is a digital thing on this 2D like screen. It's not that it's that YouTube is a thing. Like it's a thing. Like in all like, we as and, a it's, and like you said, yeah, it's literally like electricity and like like little pixels. No, I can't even explain it. Like, oh, I do get what you mean. I get what you mean, but like this is like not as big of a deal. I know me. it is a big deal. Mm -hmm. because, it like, is a big deal because like like ten thousand years ago, they're like. I'm so hot. I'm cold. I need them to get um fire. So they 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 let it bang two sticks together and make fire. Like that's what they did. And now I can go on this fucking little thing and go into YouTube. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, no, you know what is Bluetooth? <laughs> like literally, what is Bluetooth? Like, thank you, thank you. What like, the fuck is how Bluetooth? How did they find out that any of this shit works? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you find out that the a metal a metal in the ground you can fucking ca cave man fucking diving for metals and they find metals and that metal stripped down into a tiny little thing um, take take fucking god's wrath yeah. lightning strike it and now i can fucking like look at a dude shake his ass yeah yeah on or the internet? oh or i can watch one man one jar the fact that i can go on my fucking computer <laughs> i was and, just about to say porn and like yeah and porn bro but i think porn like to me is more natural because i'm like of course humans are like i need to have yeah. sex and record it i need yeah. to have sex and show it to other people <laughs> that is so funny to me i'm actually so surprised like let me think of like things that like i'm surprised people don't record more often i'm surprised people don't record like just like the most like mundane like you know the the lsd reddit yeah. Where they're like looking at a wall, they're like, damn! <laughs> <laughs> they're like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Like, like I think if if I like had a YouTube channel, uh, I would be like, damn, isn't it so crazy how like that light is like, like, do you see like the rim around it? Like how it like blends out? Mm -hmm. I, like, I'm surprised people don't post stuff like that. Where it's like, just like stupid, like, like in your head. Thing. I think that you are correct, but also I think like everything you you're like oh things that people don't record like as much as they should have. I think that's not a thing anymore with TikTok. Like TikTok, everyone records every single thing ever, <laughs> ever, ever. Like they're like look how I look in the mirror. Look, look at what you said. Like oh how that blends out. Oh look at this. Like look at my thought process. Like you know, you know every what's uh -uh, so I'm fucking done. terrible on TikTok uh -huh. is like the people who like prop up their phone and then they're like grieving. Oh, 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 like one of this, like, I remember this one, she had like this fucking long ass, big ass, like, and a con anaconda, like, fucking pet. Okay. And then it was, it died, like, in a sleep. So, like, <gasps> it was just a video of her, like, this. cradling it dead. And it's like me mourning my, like, watch me mourn my fucking lifelong pet anaconda. And I'm like, this is so dystopian. Like, yeah. like, it's not even for a memory. It's like, watch me mourn right now. Like, yeah. watch me go through a grief, like, process of as like entertainment kind mm -hmm. of thing yeah like as a viewer i don't know how that's like sustainable for your mind it, to be flipping through like here's the funniest video you've ever seen and here's the saddest video you've ever seen right back to back and then back to the funniest mm -hmm. thing like, you and you could make the argument of like oh it's so that people feel seen and like understood and like they can relate but i even think that's like bad because mm -hmm. this person is in the first stages of grief and they're not like fully like processing everything and that's why it's so like damaging but also i've never been through here so like don't don't quote me but i think that something like a, a reflection on grief would be more useful to somebody in that moment wanting to feel seen and like understood mm -hmm. like like an author like writing their like 
reflection and, and like deep thoughts about what they went through and whatever. Like having someone's internal Sorry, yeah, no, continue. Having someone's internal thoughts compared to, like, just watching it is just, it's two different things. It's, watching is so awful. Uh -huh. And there is this thing that tripped me out recently where the recent, like, big celebrity death happened and where everyone, like, people were like, oh, his co-stars, like, made a big, like, uh, like post all, like, like, making one big letter writing about their mourning, like, their grieving like their feelings about their co-star's death mm -hmm. and i'm like dude i just think it's so weird that you, that people expect these yeah. like close yeah. friends of his to like post their grieving feelings online to like everyone to, to everyone see. and they have to do it like yeah what if my friend died the last thing i want to do is write like a thing and like post it on the internet. i am so sad no I i'm saddened because i can't leave my fucking bed like no that's what i mean like i need to like be in my house alone but no, people, oh, we are so effed up like that. That's also, like, like people are, like, when people, like, see a celebrity die, the first thing they can think of is, like, oh, my God, the service that they're providing me of, You're they so can on. no longer provide. Like, when uh, the dude who played Fedsco died, mm -hmm. they're, like, oh, my God, now him and Lexi can never get together. <gasps> Bro. You're a freaky, this is a human being who just literally died. Yeah. And all you can think about is a storyline. Same thing with the the dude who just passed that from Friends. Mm -hmm. Like, there's been like edits of him like grayed out in like Friends stills. You have to be some like motherfucker, motherfucker. to like sit down and be like, oh shit, a human just died. Like, let me just let me just gray him out real quick. Oh, that shit is so freaky. What the fuck? Like, do you like if you died, would you? What would you want people to do? Like, it's, say you were like famous, like to a certain degree, like. What would you feel is acceptable for to yourself for like people like your fans or people to like make do? conspiracy theory. like okay sorry no I think like the most I would want is like maybe like a like like a bunch of pictures like you know how like Instagram like you can like swipe on photos like a a photo post of just like my like whatever I was like celebrity for and it's like can't believe she's gone yeah if it, if it's yeah. like an edit with sad music and it's just like me in slow motion like doing whatever i was doing and it's oh like, that is i can't so... believe she's I, gone i, I would i would be tossing and turning my grave i'll be like bruh <laughs> i low-key would want an edit if i was like famous like that where i had like videos of me up and about like that i low-key would want an edit of me grayed out but like with sad music but i need it to be a good edit if it's a fuck up edit where it's like playing mad world or something and it's kind of cringy like you're done <laughs> but if it's like a really really sad edit where they play like like some sort of like radiohead or fiona apple song where you it really hits you in your heart i'd be like yeah like that makes sense like i like that but i wouldn't want it too much like past like no like i don't want i would want like good editors to do i wouldn't want like thousands of people to do it because you should like... commission them when you die yeah like you know how people used to do obituaries mm -hmm. now out that's out Make i would like people to i would like you know what i would like my fans to instead visit my grave like jo oh, like no, Dante no, no, no. Mm -hmm. you know what they did to his grave no like they would like his mom would be like selling tickets to his grave and shit and like oh and like they would like bring cake and like twerk okay, on his grave okay would you want your mom to do that i would fucking shoot my mom i would haunt my mom from the grave <laughs> i no. i would say like get your bank like I, yeah. it's so dystopian because like i wouldn't want my mom to do it like solely because like i think that's fucked up like to do but like if if it were up to me and it's like you can get free money for like them standing where i True. die like you know what that's actually not valid. my mom because i'd be like this would really like fuck up our my relationship with her even though i'm dead but like yeah i'd be like oh my this, god you know, like if my agency did it and then sent her all the money yeah that lit. would be lit. that would be sick yeah L let's let's start doing that if I died, I would want to be, I would not want to be known that I died. How would you guys want to die? Like spooky, 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 spooky? spooky? Oh, mm. like in a cool way? Mm, anyway, like what is your ideal way of dying? My ideal way of dying is through misadventure. Like, let's say I was like um, climbing a mountain and I fell. Mm -hmm. For me, it would be like, it would have to be like, uh, like, you know, that one poem, I forgot what it, like, what the thing is like, it's like a, it's like a, home of like a fox and he's like today's the last day i'm living but like it doesn't matter because like the dawn never looks so beautiful it's like he's like in the forest and he has like an arrow in him yeah and he's looking out and it's just like 
everything like that he sees every day but it just looks so nice oh like i would want to like i wouldn't want to like die in a hospital bed oh yeah i would want to die in like like doing something that i like eat like at the beach or like something like nice where it's like i can look out and like see the world one and, like, time. i i said this to you Haley, mm-hmm. but the way i'd want to die is i want my my lover to kill me that is also so that's not romantic but it's so like like uh, it's romantic as fuck and i'm not playing around like i would want like re- this is really fucked up i would want them to like strangle me and like I, they like stare at me in my eyes and like they would see my last breath go out and it'd be Aww. so it's fucked up because okay this is why because i'm like i don't want to die alone are you kidding me and also i don't want to die generally but the thought of like dying by the hands of someone i love is really comforting to me what I'm, you know, I'm so valid. sad that when that's I valid. die, or like more likely that when I die, my mom's not gonna be there, like mm-hmm. like beside me, or like my dad's not gonna be there beside me. I'm like, what do you mean they're not gonna tuck me in goodbye? Like, Aww. are you yeah. joking me right now? I that's would want so like a up. head rub and like being like, it's okay, like you're this is natural, like don't worry, like you're this is all gonna be just fine. That is so wholesome. But like also they're saying this while like they're strangling the fuck yeah, out of you. Yeah. yeah. But or they it, like I, I want them to like euthanize me. My oh lover. yeah, my lover, not yeah. my mom. Like, they like, wore, like, why are you doing this to me? Mom? What if like they put like a mask on you and then like you took a little huff and then they take it off and then whatever then your lungs and they is, hug like, me you. and like you like slowly fade out and they hug me. That's actually yeah. beautiful. Yeah, or they yeah. lay beside me in the bed. Like, like that, I'm but... so sad that those things are like illegal. Like we don't really have free will. Like some like if I really wanted to be buried at the top of a mountain, I can't because like, it's just legally not allowed. Maybe you can. I can't. No. Because you can't be buried one without a box, and you can't be buried at an un- like having an unmarked gravesite is like where did you take my body kind of thing. People are like, oh, you didn't bring it to you didn't call the police when you died. You oh, must have killed this person. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we're gonna run out of places to bury people. Yes. Really? Yes, I just thought about this. Bro, that's crazy. There's one day, like, not gonna be enough. Like, like it's gonna be a luxury to have a, a like, a gravestone and, like, a, like be buried on Earth. Like, I feel like at some point, they're just gonna dig up all of the grave sites and then, like, like Re- cook them all reset. up and then, like, make them into trees. That's I, do, I feel like, I feel like I would appreciate that. I, sorry, I would... Oh my I god! Like, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> he made him on my pinky because it's like classy. Yeah, that is really. <laughs> yeah, no, you know how I have my like, crystal glass and I have my little lemon drink. <laughs> yeah, you got your concoction. Um, it's classy. Sorry, it's nice <laughs> to die. Like, like to dig everybody up. I feel like the boomers would have a problem. They'd be like, they're gone. No. They would be gone. Let's kill the boomers. I'm tired of some old people. Some <laughs> because th- there is like. I'm tired of old thinking. I'm tired of old thinking because maybe I might be the problem, like, to, uh, anyways, I might be the problem when I'm older where I'm like, there are, like, I just can't understand the new age. But, like, what? Like, why can't some people just, like, be like, yes, yeah, like, you know what? Like, racism is bad. Like, you're right. I hate mm-hmm. how people just can't think outside the box. Yeah. Like, yeah. but apparently it's, like, a genetic thing. Like, it's not, like, it's, like, um some people are more likely to picture things in their head and some people really just cannot picture things in their head yeah, for me i'm like if if i can like think of a concept and like take it outside of my perception of it because things do make me uncomfortable things make me feel weird yeah like but I, if i can step out of like how i feel and like observe it and and logically speaking it makes sense like you know like what it's whatever I think that is not something that everyone can do. It's like a skill, and you have to teach yourself to do it. Yeah. And like, I think it's more taught now in, like, elementary school where they're like, let's be open thinkers, and let's be have a yeah. worldly perspective. But that's a gay agenda, so it's just like, I don't know. The oh, yeah. Agenda. The drag queens are getting us. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys have an item you really want to show off? I have a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah tell us your story. paranormal story. As a kid, I would, like, my mom had a necklace. And my mom had a painting and they were both of eyes and oh. um i don't know why but as a kid i felt like the eyes would blink at me and i swear i would see them all the time just blink once and wake up like in the corner of your eye no 
Like, oh I would be physically God. looking at it. Like, I remember I was doing laundry with my mom, and, I, like, we were talking. And then I looked down at her necklace, and it... And I was just like, oh, can your f- necklace blink? I would freak And then the she was out. like, no. <gasps> what are you oh talking about? God. And then it would be... It was a portrait of my mom. And, like, it was like a drawing. And her eyes opened, and they looked at me, and then they closed. But this is what I think, because I googled it later on, and apparently, like, kids have a higher perception of just, like, seeing things that aren't real. Like, just genuinely, like, schizophrenic, like, actually seeing things that aren't real. Because I remember I would also look down at my feet, and they would just be like that. And I swear to God, I could switch from my left foot and my right foot. And it, it would go like that, but, like, actually, like... Oh, like that optical illusion of the thing, like, spinning around... Reason. Yeah, and it would like go left way and then go right way. Yeah. Oh, it would, it yeah, would, yeah, I yeah. swear I would be looking dead at my feet and it would be like, okay, now my right foot's where my left foot is and my right left foot is where my right foot is. And then I, like, this is how I did it. <laughs> I did this, I clapped my feet together <laughs> and then it switched and then I did it again and it switched back and then I was like, why isn't it working anymore? It's not working anymore. And then I'm just, I was like, that's girl, the day that I got left feet to right feet. Girl, you got the real life Laurel Yandy with disease. <laughs> Laurel. You got the Laurel Yanny vaccine? Yeah. yeah. Damn. You, you know, you're a Lanny. Whoa. <laughs> Yanny Laurel vaccine, a Jabola vaccine. <laughs> what did I get? Oh, what? what do you get? You get the FNAF vaccine. <laughs> you literally. Like... The man behind the slaughter vaccine. Yeah. That, don't fucking play with me. I can't have that on my belt. Um, the, the red pill vaccine. Oh, yeah, oh I'm red pilled. You're actually AI. You're like AIF. <laughs> AIF. I feel like Joe, Joe Budden um, is like putting a stop to AI or something. Joe but Budden? I just don't get He's it. He's putting so the Joe hand. Biden. Joe, Joe Biden. Biden's an actual human being. Yeah, Benjamin Button? I don't know who that is. Benjamin Button's Bro, a disease. Bro, basically Benjamin Button tonight, I'm literally sucking the fuck out of that straw. Don't even play around that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not playing. Oh, wait. Is that what is it? Like a sound for like the name of a cart? Yeah. Oh, really? I thought Benjamin <laughs> Button is like... <laughs> It's the name of someone because you and Ryan always talk about Benjamin Button over here. You know, that's they, literally just... Oh, Benjamin Button over here. And I'm like, who the f- <laughs> I thought that was your nickname. Yeah, so it's like a dab pen? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a story, uh, like a what? Halloween story. What? Um. So this is when I was at DMCI grade 9. And I brought like, <laughs> I brought like a, a banana costume to wear for Halloween. And so I put it on in my math class. And my math class was in the middle school. So I'm walking back to the, <laughs> to the high school. Mm-hmm. And this one dude, I didn't see him a day after this day. So I swear <laughs> to God, he wasn't even a student there. He puts the hand and he's like, pause. And I'm wearing the banana costume. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, may I? What? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> side to side. <laughs> oh, like the Arna Grande song, you were side to side? Like... Oh my goodness! You were, you were literally tapped in. You see, Red means recording. Oh, like, let's stop playing. Don't play. George, that's not even funny. They literally just got flashed by you. They, they didn't even consent. Oh, what if no, a two-year-old watches? They're not. I know every one of the viewers. There's only thirty of them. <laughs> so agile. <laughs> you just agile everywhere. <laughs> You're giving your eyes ball all over the floor. <laughs> Anyways, this dude's like, may I? And I'm like, what? And before I even say yes, he grabs like a tuft of my, 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 like, my, <laughs> my banana <laughs> costume. Right like at my, like, my left boob. Like, like, oh, grabs like oh a, like God. a tuft of it. <laughs> like this. And it's like, it's a big costume. It's like yeah. a man's costume. So he gra- he leans in so close to me, like, <laughs> like this, like up to my chest. I don't know this dude. And he goes, oh, oh, oh. And, no, he doesn't, he just like a, here, wait, let me do it to this. He's like, oh. Oh, yeah. he, Girl, he was he, flirting with you. And then he goes, he looks up at me from down, like he. Oh, he looks up at me like down from here, and he's like, "Now we are one." Oh, oh. oh. he literally had a desire to turn into you, bro. Caroline Polachek style. Like he was literally so he wanted. You. I literally like felt my stomach drop. I'm like, who the fuck? <laughs> Oh, are you? Dude. You're, and I never saw him after that day. 
He swear to God, you ne- what? That was paranormal. Like that was not a real human. He swear to God, this dude just he walked was into sent a to random high school and like is like, let me go assault a fucking girl. Minor. That was your canon event. <laughs> like he literally, like that he was sent to do that and like like disappear like. Phew. That changed you know, the as of I your turn, life. like as he like leaves my peripherals, he like disintegrates into like yeah. sand. Fuck. Oh my god, yeah. That is the great... Like, he ate you, and then he's like, we are one. He's like, he's like, now we are one. And That's... I'm like, what the fuck are you thinking right now? He literally predated the Caroline Polachek album. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> literally, who the fuck is that? <laughs> this dude just likes bringing up people that no one fucking knows like, about. I think the... she's like a Greek celebrity. No. No. <laughs> um, she's a celebrity. She made an album, Desire, I Want to Turn Into You. Like, that's what he was given. Like, he wanted to turn into you. George, try and mention someone that, like, we know about challenge. First, it's yeah. fucking Dolly Parton and um, <laughs> Jessica Peel, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Jessica was, Lang. Jessica <laughs> Lang. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, then, and now it's fucking whoever this is. Caroline Politech. She Girl, sounds she like a politician. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he, he took the dirt back. What's your little um <laughs> That's what he did? He took the fucking dirt back scene. The dirt <laughs> we're 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 like getting mad at a man trying to get his dirt on. Yeah. Men can't do that. Men literally can't. We live do that. this is why it's dystopian. Dirtless? Because at the start I said, Oh, the skies are gray. No, it's because no more men can get their dirt on. <laughs> the fuck? The, the, actually, the COVID vaccine has anti dirt pit. Like, <laughs> oh, like I went to Walmart pills. recently, and what? I don't know if I told you this story, but I was wearing my uh, my school graduate shirt, and the, and this guy, he's like, I graduated from the school ten years ago, and I was like, oh really? That's crazy. And then for forty five minutes, he was like, COVID is fake. The government's against <laughs> us. Um, c- climate change is real. Um, that was a really funny one. Like he was like, no, climate change is real. Like don't. Don't be misinformed. And he was like, <laughs> corporations are against us. Before the George is like. <laughs> yeah, I, before I was like, okay, because I think climate change is fake. Anyways, but bef- that, but he was like, yo, COVID is uh, fake, blah, 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 this, this, that. And I'm like, oh, that's so, like. Oh, but if, if climate change is real, then why is it cold outside right now? No, because real. Like, why is this the coldest <laughs> so October true. ever? No, because climate change is not real like that. Um, are you just so he doesn't find you? What's your item? Do you have one to show it out? Um, this is like a hand. I can't, oh, I can't go into it. Prop. Here's from my Halloween costume last year when I was Heisenberg. <gasps> I have She posted of these around Toronto and so, for people to find her. Yeah, but nobody did. Yeah. Okay, that didn't happen. She, th- she thinks she's cicada. Yeah, she thought, she thought she cicada everyone. I did. Actually, I'm starting. Oh my God. You know what she I She took the audacity vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> This is unacceptable. <laughs> this is crazy. The audacity is so good. I'm gonna use it for real. She thought she had the audacity to get everyone to do a cicada search for her. Okay, go. <laughs> oh That's it. God. That's all I got. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have an item? Oh, I have oh, <laughs> that that hoodie. Um, there's two items. Um, can you grab them? Yeah. Sorry, I'm like also comfy wumpy right now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, throwback. People were flirting with him dressed as sexy Leatherface. Yeah, I had two different people flirt with me, fighting with and him, and I couldn't even like pick it up. Like oh, they had three, to tell me afterwards. Three, if you count that one dude who was like sexing you with his eyes. Yeah. Well, how you holding his girlfriend? Saying. With his girlfriend, his pregnant girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she took the pregnancy pill. <laughs> no, he took the gay pill after that she became pregnant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I've got two items. Uh, number one is this white face paint, which was supposed to be like part of my costume this year, but I literally underestimated the power of my brown skin. Mm-hmm. Um, brown skin girl. Oh my god. <laughs> skin just like pearl. <laughs> I literally. <laughs> I didn't think you were capable of giving me the ink. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever get the ink. I was like, if any dude other than you like said that to me, I would kill myself in front of them and like permanently change their life. Like the trajectory of their life just changes. 
Um, okay, yeah. But this is my white face paint. I, I was supposed to be the puppet from FNAF, but it totally got scrapped because I, I was I had a house party, which leads to this one. But I got there because I was so late, like, getting everything together that I didn't have time to paint my motherfucking face white. Fucking ruined my life. But mm. I, now I have it for next year. Hey. Wait, let's, let's do a little swash test. <gasps> A little swatch test. Okay. It just sucks because next year there's going to be nuclear warfare, so it's just like... You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it's kind of like... Killer. Yeah. Okay, but that's like a glob. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. Uh, you'd have if to you like, glob. If you, like, mix it in, like, it would dissipate like that. Yeah, no. But, yeah, um, now I'm just going <laughs> to... A no. white section? Oh, wait, here, let me do, like, on this side and then this side. So it looks like it's a part of the. Oh, did I get some on my nose? No. no. But when you get when you go on the bus, I just wash my face here. Tribal paint. Oh. Because you're giving Predator, like the movie, like you're like the military guy. This this part on the nose is like how they did it in SpongeBob when they put on sunscreen. Oh, really? Yeah. I always thought that's how you're supposed to put on sunscreen and we didn't. I don't know. <laughs> I've run out of sunscreen and I've just been relying on the gray clouds. You don't. You don't. Oh, so you just want me to sit here and look like a fool? <laughs> yeah. Wait, why are you the fool that wrote this pants? <laughs> Just saying. Um, why are your pants on, on fire? What's this um oh, thingamajig? Yeah, liar, so liar. um I had a bunch of people at my oh, at my house for Halloween. And I I don't know if actually I don't think I had mentioned this. At any party ever, I'm always hiding in the motherfucking closet. Did you? I hid in this closet, I hid in Ryan's closet, I've hid hidden in every single closet ever. Um, but this one, I had to make sure people were behaving the fuck out of themselves because mm-hmm. my mom was upstairs. So I didn't have the luxury, but I I found this and I was like, oh my God, like um, the little things, the little things in life, because I, I totally forgot that at that party, some, a girl named Erin, she brought like a little thing with this and I started shooting motherfucking cups down <gasps> with Whoa. it. I was like, target practice. Wait, here, let me. Bullseye! Hey! Sorry. Kill him! Ah! Ready? Okay. I took that, I took her oh. gun, and I started showing off my ass, but not bare, through my tights. And, oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was actually so impressive. You got every so every straight dude at that party gay. You got girls gay. I was so shook. that No, you, you got girls straight. No, gay. Oh, so you don't like him? No, lesbian. I, I was so dead ugly, I switched you. <laughs> no, you were like a hot girl. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah. It's time for media, guys. <laughs> okay, I've been into a lot of murder mystery podcasts recently. No, no. Girl, I can't like... hang around you because soon you're going to enact a murder mystery on me. Damn right, because you're so um, delicious. Oh I my god, wait, you're gonna be the my intimate lover who like puts me on. Oh, yo, yo, count that, count that. When when we when, actually, I was gonna bring up like serial killers. And this is the, they're gonna play this clip right before the news report. Yes, oh. I'm saying. Like, what did you mean here? Like yeah, no, yeah. in court, in court, like they pull up the like fucking old ass TV, like they, yeah, like they yeah. wheels, Good. and then they plug it in, and then and then it's this fucking show and tell podcast. Nah, bro, yeah. I'm thinking about like um, you know when they talk about us in like murder mystery like YouTube videos, and then they show this and be like. You know the channel that like plays interviews of people when they're being interrogated. Yeah. It's like this person thought they were gonna like they were playing this <laughs> tactic, but the police saw right oh, through it. Oh, mm-hmm. I love those videos where they're like he thought he could play the insanity card. When yeah. I watch those, I'm like, oh, now I know I'd never win. Like I would never get through. I some I sometimes like, sometimes I'm like, no, if I really wanted to pull off a crime, like a serious crime like that, like murder, I think I could do it. I don't think I could. Not I mentally, not mentally. Oh, okay. Don, okay. conscious, I would never live, like, properly again. Like, I would kill myself maximum a year later. Um, but I meant, like, getting away with it. I think I could. Um, I know, like, I don't think. I think I would, like, vomit and way too much. And, like, I would, like, forget, like, one thing that, like, led back to me. <gasps> yeah. Like, I stole a book from this guy's house, and I was so guilty. I felt so guilty about it. I was like... Like, oh my what? god what if that was his favorite book like i that was me but in class in french immersion i don't know what it's called in english it's like when you write down all the words like 
to spell, right? Dictate is what it's called in French. Mm. Is it dictation? Probably. I don't know the direct Dic- translation. I don't know either. Anyways, I think it's called the t- dictation because I think we had them in Black's class too. Um, Bro. Blah. 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 <laughs> you did that so well. Oh my god. But yeah, no, I was like writing down a word and I forgot like how to write it. And then I look over at this dude's paper and he wrote it right. And I got so stressed out, so I wrote it out. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm literally like a fucking villain. So I started erasing it, but the butt of my pencil like ran out of eraser. So I ripped my paper and I started crying. Bro, like low key, pencils get like anti plastic surgery. Like we'd be re- removing their butts. Like you should you... kill yourself for that. Um. So this is some of the media I've been wa- doing. Wait, can I clap and wash this shit? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, watch You have what? to clap after you start the recording. Watch what? Oh. Watch wait, the little wait, thing. Wait, can off. I pause? Do I pause this? Yeah, you can pause it. But when you start again, you have to clap. Okay, sick. Um, so my media, I've been, I lo- I've been in love with the song On the Bound by Fiona Apple. Don't play around because, first of all, she wants your head on her lap and she wants... Anyways... Um, Dilemma by Azalea Banks, the entire Capri Songs um, album, SOS, but specific by SOS by SZA, but specifically, uh, Open Arms, Blind, Sure, and Far. So let's not get that twisted because anything else, it's not, it's not right. <laughs> um, IZUS by Apex Twin, um, Secret Combination by Calamira, um, and. I only have eyes for you by the flamingos, and then I feel the earth move by Caroline King, and I think that'll be it for my music. This motherfucker probably hasn't gone weeks without saying Fiona Apple. Like, like every single episode you've said Fiona Apple. No, because Loki, I wasn't in my bag like that. Like Loki, I didn't love, 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 love Fiona. Like over time, my love for Fiona Apple just grows, grows and more. Like it. Every time, like, I recently thought I was done with Fiona Apple. I was like, I've, I've been through my favorite album. I'm never going to lick anything again. Yeah. And I found a song I really love. It. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro. Um, do you have songs? Yes. Yes, I got songs. This is the first time I've been like, this is like, I got songs. B.O.P. Kosher. I have been on his shit for forever. Like, like, right now, that's like all I listen to. I like wake up, I listen to B.O.P. Kosher. Like, he is so fine to me. And... Also, Smoke Dope 2016. Oh, I know. I, I love yeah. Smoke Dope 2016. Um, to me, he's also so fine. He's never shown his face once, but like his voice, like I know he's fine. Um, also, that's literally what I thought of Dream. Why would you say that? that what the fuck? That just like I, I, I was like, I hope I just misheard you, and I thought you were gonna say, wait, wait. I, oh my god, like I just. <laughs> Let me turn on my thing. Oh. Um, next time, next up is "Bag It" by "Bag It Two by Xavier So Based. Um, it has a slur in it, but I think it makes it better. Um, and then the last one, let's do like a little cute one, okay? Let's do. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was vile. The way. Yeah. Yeah. He said it in such a like little white boy way, little little twink way. Wait, wait, say say yet. Yet. Oh my god. Wait, they need to make him like the leader of the yet. Soundboard. No, because nobody knows this, but actually, twink is a slur. I don't give a fuck, twink. Sorry. Anyways, and then Babylon by Alex G and on a on one Tedx points never. You know, someone point... asked me yesterday if I knew what knew any twinks, but I didn't classify you as one. Yeah, Georgia's not a twink. You should feel sad. I am a twink, low key, like by the definition. Yeah, by the definition, you are a twink, but to me. But I'm not a twink. Like, let's not get that specific. What do you have any songs you've been listening to you want to share? Have, have I been listening to any songs? Oh, wait, let me take a little peeky weeky. Um, um, while you're doing that, I've been in love with the Britney Spears piece of a uh, woman of. Woman in Me book, absolute masterpiece. And um, they say they're going to make it into a documentary. And I'm saying that if they begin to make a documentary, I may or may not be learning how to make a bomb. 
Why? Why? Because that is not what my woman, the woman, Britney Spears does not want that. Why? Because she explicitly says in the book she never liked all the documentaries that they made about her um, and that she doesn't want to be publicized more than she already is. And this is her one way of really putting her story out there. And I will not allow them, I will not allow the media to take advantage of my Make girl. Make another normal. documentary. I'm just tired. Like, they already fucked up her life so damn bad they want to do even more. No, let's you, let so you see up. how you do under a hydrogen bomb. Right? Anyways. I think that'd be really not fun. I don't know. They'll be Maybe, well, before. then they should have thought about that. You know? Like, I always think, like... But like, actually, Britney Spears wouldn't want me saying this in peace and love and peace and love, and I pray every day, so... Did you pray that. today? Did you pray today? Britney Spears' prayers will come to haunt them, because that's what happened to her father. And I heard... Anyways. Because if you didn't, I'm going to have to dick you down on some gangster <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait, you really? <laughs> Whoa! No, I'm literally celibate. Like, I can't. Voluntarily. Girl, I'm still a virgin. Let's keep that real, so. Oh! Oh, what the hell? Oh, my God, yeah, yeah. Damn! You just hit a chord. I, I did not hit a chord, but thank you, girl. Sticking I just made my Yes, for the wrestler. Yeah, that's my also uh, media. Um, that's my yes. no, I guess Five Nights at Freddy's, but if you don't have, you don't fuck with Five Nights at Freddy's, I do not want to hear your opinion. Kill yourself, about it, so kill just, yourself. Nah. You should um, Oh, my media is maybe Jason X. That was, Yo, like, that, was lit. that was a lit movie. Well, I'm not watching any TV shows. We haven't been here for a while, so there's lots of media. Catch up, get yourself cultured. Every single time I refer to them as real human beings, I want to kill myself. I just can't believe, like, some. I was talking and I was like, oh, this is going online. Yeah. Like, the one time I was talking, I was like, oh, yeah, this is going online. Lie. Lie. I can't wait to make my website so our thing could have our its own little, like. That is so. Are you guys going to watch Iron Lung? What the yes, fuck? Yes, I am. That? Yes, I am. That's, be... that's the reason why Marco Plyer wasn't in the FNAF movie. Yeah. Because he's making a movie based off, like, video game Iron Lung, where you're, like, in a submarine. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's well, also be because, like, well, I was I was a sneaky link, and so we were having a good time when they said they were supposed to film. Speaking of your gap for the Rizzler. I just want to I want to let all my sneaky links know you mean nothing to me, and I will forever be trolling the fuck out of you. So let's keep that real. True, true. You're so skippy. And to the woman who I met on the night that my sneaky link made me wait until two a.m., you are the realest woman on earth, and you have a spot reserved in heaven. For you and all your family members. True, true. Did she stick out her yet? For the Rizzler. No, she stuck out her cigarette box and asked me if I wanted a cigarette because she said I was so unbelievably stressed looking. Oh, uh, that's I even just... better. Do you think cigarettes like genuinely make you more like cream? Yeah, they make you. They actually. Or they like... give you something to do. I believe it's a fake drug and it's only there for addiction. And there's there there's actually no. Like calming effect. Well, I'm gonna give you a vibe answer and you're gonna take and you're gonna smoke a cigarette and you're living like be on Molly. Like I'm so serious, <laughs> that's what it feels like. So that let's you'll you'll see about this fake drugs. Can drug me. <laughs> fake drugs, right. He's gonna roofie you, but like in real life. No no no, I mean like outside. You know of what? Drugs. If he did roofie me, I'll be fine with it. I, I always do. think like I would know if I like like I before roofied. I got roofied, like if there was something in my drink. I'm not joking. if I was at a club and I got roofied, I would know immediately because I'd be like Something's going on with me. I first freaked out, but if there was a random man being like, what's going on? I'd be like, get the fuck away from me. I don't know you. And I'd find whoever I was with, or I'd go home. Not go home. I'd get out because, first of all, I need air. I'd get out and maybe I'd pass out. Yeah. That's terrible. No, like, I would be able to tell if my drink was tampered with. I could taste other spit in my water. Mm. Like, if I drink, if I could, if I drink my water, I'm like, it's not my water. I don't know. Oh. Because I can taste my own spit. I can taste your spit. I, I, um, I want a man to mm, spit in your drink. I just don't think I should finish that. Yeah, I don't think you should. Um, (laughs) you can't let people to know your kinks because they'll like, they'll have too much on you because I told someone I had a foot fetish and now they won't leave me alone because they're like, give me, give me ass for, I'll give you feet pics. And I'm like, do you actually have a foot fetish? I think I do. Like, what is it about the foot? I like the man foot. Really? Yeah. I think girl feet are nice, but like not like in a way that I'm like, oh, 
Let me put that in my yes. mouth. If I were to like a man's feet, it would definitely be because I'm like, oh my God, like I am so lucky to be able to hold your feet. Like nobody mm -hmm. gets to touch your feet, but I, since I am like your your guy, like I get to like play around your feet. I'm so lucky. I think like for me, I like hands, like the way hands look, Yeah. but not in like a TikToker way. Like, right. like mm -hmm. bro, like hand reveal, like, yeah let me grab no but like i think it's just like oh my god like this is a vessel of like this is like brought you everywhere um, in your life like that's really sweet um mine i think is just like i um was ra not raised to have a foot fetish but like when i was online and i would be like ha ha he he i have a foot fetish ha 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 this is so funny and then like people just started sending me feet pictures and i was like yeah this is so lit and then i just got more into feet because like people you were like literally conditioned yourself i conditioned myself to have a foot fetish and then like every single place where i would go i'd be like haha i have a foot fetish this is so funny and then like with my with my ex i'd be like yeah i have a foot fetish give me your feet because i'd like making people uncomfortable and then he would actually give me his feet and then i was like damn wait your feet's actually really nice and then i was like damn i have nice feet too my feet are like so wide and like i know exactly how to like take care of my feet and work out my feet in the perfect way and I'm like now I just need a muscular man's feet and legs and their calves are just so ah! um my feet are becoming less hideous as the days go on because I have finally stopped my <sighs> and I can't say that word <laughs> um <laughs> are you guys chill with your media? I mean, I have not watching TV done. shows. I've been watching the Gen V show, but that's not a part the of the Gen Z show. What is that? All TikTok and uh, Chot Cheetos and Ho? Uh, no. It's... Oh, pull up a sneak of it, a clip. <laughs> I hate that guy, but um, guys, no. I have to go home. I know. <laughs> my oh, mom my is bad God. at me. She's like, knock knock. Hello, anybody in the house? I made shepherd pie. Yummy. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Um, fuck, I need to get food and I need to get the fuck to Christy Pitts. Hey, <laughs> party. Like, okay. imagine going to Christy Pitts at this time of night. Like, you're a brave one. Like, what the fuck? Um, like, yeah, it's just Britney Spears only. No TV shows, no movies, and don't play around with me because I will fuck you up. So let's be real. And I will actually not because... Oh, be real. Do your be real. I, I think be real fucking out. tracking you. And I, I deleted that out. To, like, you deleted it? good no, maybe you just have it's, it's, paranoia it's like hey let's let's government make you fucking take a photo of your exact location at this exact time they get you oh where the fuck do you think you're going oh, oh! I'm wearing my pants backwards i was like why is it on your butt the that's not chell that's, that's not no shell. that's shell that's, that's how you that. spell it that's how you spell it yeah yo yeah. Sticking out your gap for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. I just want to be your Sigma. Damn, it looks good as hell. The lighting's good as hell. Is it? Yup. This so should worried. be our semi-permanent set. Yeah, yeah. Low Wait, uh, can they see my feet right now? Yup. No, no. no it's blocked by your sweater, yeah. Because I've been playing with like my like foot foreskin. No. <laughs> Like, like, These are the state photos of all my trap victims. Their souls are in this wall. Huh. Yeah. They're mad. You're mad. You're, You're mad. mad. You're I'm back. Big bad. He's bad. She's bad. Big sad. Ha ha. <laughs> Don't care. Stay bad. <laughs> Where is that from? Where did that come from? Oh. And I. And you? There you go. Insufficient space on the card. It's efficient. It's All right. Efficient. Ah! And your battery's dying. Let's go. I just want to... Guys, everyone let's say... I just want to... Wait, three, two, one. We'll all have our own little thing of, like, bye. But, like, nobody... Okay. We don't have to be synchronized. Okay. Two, one. Bye! Um, yeah, click the red... The red
So. Oh, there's your toenails. Oh, so click the so red button, button to, make to, make, to make a stop. On, on, off? On, off? No, no. No, no. No. The red button. The red button. The, the red button at the top. That... I see it. I just want to be your... Can I just... Like, 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 what would you do like the hottest motherfucker ever? Like start, like start serenading, serenating you and like holding you? I don't you. think it works. Oh, oh no. Ew, like, Ew, like singing is kind of an ache. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we can go on and on. Benjamin Button is like... Benjamin Button? I guess you could click the on off. I'm just like a bitch about it. I'm just like, you know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. 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 Yeah.